Like, I literally turned around from playing the GameCube. I remember it so vividly. I was playing either Smuggler's Notch or was not the, um, not the fucking the Nightfire. The, what the, was it Agent Underfire? Was that what it was called? The 007 Before Nightfire on the GameCube. And I remember this guy. I didn't have a GameCube. This kid had a GameCube. So I was like, madly. So, and yo, I literally hear a scuffle. Like, his dad is running off the couch, bro. This kid wound up killing himself, like, four years, five years after. And, like, that's why, like, for a long time, I really had a lot of anger and resentment about it. As a grown man, I could realize he just wanted the voices to stop. And he was, he, I mean, I, I as much as I fucking... You know what I'm saying? Like, feel about that a specific type of way. And, like, I don't... You know what I'm saying? I get it, sort of. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't forgive it. But it's like, I sort of understand, like, what he was going through. You feel me? Uh, not, not really understand it, but I can empathize with it. You know, as someone who's going through things... Like I'm a I'm a I'm a person that I'm an enigma, bro. Like people don't people don't see this. You feel what I'm saying? Like the reason I got up on this YouTube shit, cause people don't see this shit. They don't this doesn't exist except here. You can't clone this. Got a lot of hate, got a lot of homies, but can't clone me. You feel me? So <laughs> No, I'm serious, the one and only. You feel me? So I just I just uh see, I gotta see if it if it triggers for the little vase. I don't know why, because cause the, the milk videos, he's smoking the blunt. They're cool with that shit. They might, like, what the fuck? See, that's the shit that, uh, like I said, with ODM something, I could recognize the real off rip. That's all I'm going to say on it. Look funny how they fucking say my shit need to, it need to be flagged for this. You know what I'm saying? The same shit, just smoke. Honestly, in a way, when I got ulcers from smoking blunts and bowls and joints all the time, not really smoke bongs much. You know what? Before it was even decriminalized. Actually, I think it just got decriminalized up here, marijuana. The the, the fucking ER doctor who popped my ulcers was the ER doctor. So the OR doctor, where dude who went in with the shit and popped my ulcers, right? Told me after I came out of of, of uh, anesthesia and shit. It was like, uh, you know, you, you smoke. I was like, I smoke weed because at the time I didn't smoke no cigarettes. Actually, I just started smoking cigarettes. But I mainly smoked weed. I was like, um, I was like, yeah, I smoke weed though. I smoke, you know, mainly. Because I only smoke cigarettes here and I was bumming on people at that time. So I was like, uh, because that before reviews and everything, like that was when I first came back from Interstate Compact. Like, and he's like, well, you know, do you really, can you stop smoking the weed? And I was like, honestly, it's the only thing that make me feel like I'm not constantly, you know what I'm saying, like under threat of 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 having to defend myself, to be honest. Like it's the only, I'm not running. You feel what I'm saying? PTSD is fight or flight. I'm not running. So if I go off, you know what I'm saying, is you gonna be running? <laughs> you know, like so I'm I'm just saying how it was. Like a doctor should told me this shit is sort of healthier for you because of the water filtration as long as you clean the water. It's like having a cigarette with a filter on it, but you can always change that filter out. You feel me? So I, I, that's just the wildest shit to me is why they flagged it. Because I know there's nothing else. There's no other reason but this. And I know they be picking and choosing when the video topic something that they want to hush up, then they'll be like, oh, yeah, he got that in it. But when it's something they don't give a fuck about, or they trying to whatever. Like, I had shit where I was talking about, like, I think, I swear to God, in the Sharky B thing, I had the fucking, the vase, and I was smoking, and they didn't give a shit. Yeah, he got me fired up this morning. He got me fired up this morning. <laughs> he got me fired up. So, like I said, man, like I said, the, the first time, and you know what my mom did? When, when she came and picked me up from the kid house, and I told her what the fuck happened, she drove me straight home, and that was it. <laughs> she did not call the police. Nobody called the cops. Nobody. She actually went to the kid's funeral when he died. Like, I didn't even know this kid died till a year after because people knew how I felt about it. Like, I literally, like, my boy Justin, right, when we was in, in third grade, right, he got in a car accident. Kid was out of school for, like, two years, bro. 
Like, he was lucky he made it. When he had come back, he had gained weight and shit. He looked kind of like this kid Joey. So, like, when I first seen him, I thought it was this kid. Because I hadn't seen this kid in forever. And keep in mind, I'm pretty sure this was, like, a year after this kid had killed himself. You see what I'm saying? The kid Joey who heard voices. Just on seeing this kid Justin, who I had mad love for. That was my fucking boy, and that still is. You know what I'm saying? When when he had that car accident, we was boys though. Like we was that that was like we was close right when that happened. You feel me? So that shit was even more fucked up because I wound up spazzing on this kid, thinking he was the kid who tried to kill me. And the kid who tried to kill me, I think, had killed himself at that point. And this was a kid who was actually, like, my boy. And just because he had had surgery and gained weight and shit, and because he'd been in car accident, been out of school for two years, like, he, you know what I'm saying? It, it just looked enough like it, you feel me? So it's like, a lot of shit like that where it's like, I was living like that before motherfuckers was even supposed to be living like that. You feel me? And, and that's why they, the motherfuckers is hating. Cause it's like it's like when when they see a motherfucker who got shit they don't got they start hating. You can't go out and get this. You feel what I'm saying? You can't just go out and fucking buy this. You know what I'm saying? You try to. You, you know what I'm saying? It's gonna come off real quick. It's gonna wear off the moment shit get real. You know what I'm saying? My shit's still gonna. I'm still gonna be maintaining the same energy. You not gonna be doing that if you try to just take this. I see some people too. I ain't gonna say it too much. Some people be taking this shit. They be trying to, at least, and people be catching it. More than just me. And some people hating who have really no reason to be hating because, like, I got, like, what, 100 some subs? There are people, I did people with tens of thousands of fucking subs, 100, that's hating on me. <laughs> and it's really just because of what I just said. They can't go out and buy this. They can't. They can't go out and buy the fact that if the feds came and got them for some shit, you mind, that's why I'm not doing nothing because I'm never going, you know what I'm saying? I already made my, I already took my risks. I already made my dividends off them risks. The statutes done ran out on them risks. You feel me? I know what to talk about, what not to talk about with them risks. So I put it like this. People can validate the real in it. And I know this from experience. When I was in the bin, everybody, you know, bundles are real. Bundles are real. I ain't gonna say it up here on the YouTube because like I said in a video before, there's a lot of generations up on here. That segregation, 60s, civil rights generation, you say that shit and you a white boy and they don't know you, that, you know what I'm saying, it's a different sound than when our generation, or especially the generation after mine hear that shit that just act like that's some shit everybody be saying. You feel me? Like when we grew up, it was like there was rules to that shit. Like you could say around your boys if they was cool, but there's people there that you didn't know. You know what I'm saying? You not offering a little corn by yourself. Don't let them people hear that. You feel me? Like, it, it was different. And I know even regionally, like, down in the south, it's different. Depending where you're at. Like, over here, nobody care. You feel me? And nobody care. I've never had one interaction with a black person where either it slipped out or whatever the fuck. Or I was around with my other homies. And we was talking. They, I've never had it be a problem. Never fucking once. You see what I'm saying? So, but but at the same time, I understand the severity and the, the that when you put shit on the public, see, it's different when you say shit in your private shit and whatever. That's cool because them people know that. But on this shit, they don't really know you like that. So that's why, I, like, when I seen OGZ, I was like, bro, he nice at rapping and shit, but he can't be doing that because I don't care if you're Hispanic, bro. I'm technically half Hispanic. And you starting to see it now because I'm tanning. You see what I'm saying? I went from being, like, pale to, to yellow, bro, overnight. You can see this shit. <laughs> you feel me? I just realized it. So it's like, and give it a couple weeks, bro. I'm going to be looking like El Maco. <laughs> That's how was my little brother Caleb called. He called El Maco. He's like, you, you literally look Spanish by the time middle of summer hits. I don't be doing that shit. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, I, I get why, they, why the people who, like, is bigger than me is hating. Some of them, because it's like, there's, and it, it was such a prevalent thing that those people was being at me that I thought was hating, but wasn't. And I only thought that because there was other ones that was. And it's because, especially in one of their cases, they trying to be me. That's really what it, they was running with a thing. I commented on their shit somewhere. They saw my thing and 
it, with me, it's not a thing. It's who I am. Keep in mind. They trying to make it they thing. You can't make this your thing. You feel what I'm saying? That's why the voice emphasis is so on point like that. Because that's me. You feel what I'm saying? Well, I'm really trying to get you to hear some or hear somehow how somebody of a specific type of uh, energy or, or personality or viewpoint is going to say it. Like how a cracker going to say something versus how like um, the dude who in a, in a boardroom but really racist and fucking the head sick going to say it. Like that type of shit where I'll be like, well, here's how we're going to like try to sound like a point. Actually, you feel what I'm saying? That's me. <laughs> I don't be putting that shit on. And I see what this mom motherfucker, because his normal voice will come out. And then all of a sudden, it's like lately, it's almost like someone has been telling him to watch my shit and try to put more bass in his voice. I, I ain't going by him first. But, but motherfucker want to act like it is what it is, man. I'm all the way over here anyway. <laughs>